Hi, I'm Brent Little, the Global Inside Applications Engineer for the overhead apparatus product lines of Elastomolder Closers, Jocelyn High Voltage VSVs, VBMs, and the Fisher Pierce product lines. Today we're excited to bring you a new product from Fisher Pierce product line, 5400, which has some new features to allow customers to easily connect to their capacitor bank. We have a similar setup as you would see in the field installation. We have the Fisher Pierce four jaw mounting adapter and the new Fisher Pierce 5400 controller with the optional integrated CapLink short range Wi Fi antenna. This antenna will allow you to remotely connect to the controller to download the data or program the unit from up to 150 feet away. Our standard interface is the same regardless of the cap link option. Let's walk through the steps to see how easy it is to connect to this unit in the different methods. The standard option for connection is the USB through a standard printer cable or programming the unit from the panel itself. First, we will load the .exe program to our desktop. Then double click to start the program. Note there's no additional installations required when prompted for a password, the passcode is either control or monitor, depending upon the function you want to perform. Once we get to the main screen, we will check the communications port for connection to the USB. You will notice the green light indicates the communication is active and found the Fisher Pierce controller. Now we can monitor or program the unit. From the panel, we can see the tabs on the top of the screen you will see the following options. We'll walk through the features. Monitor to see the live data from the system. System settings. Operations include the data logging, which we have 128 kilobytes of memory, which is equivalent to 10,000 data logs. Different switch setups. Reclose blocks. Maximum closes set per day. Auto jump back feature which is in case the unit's left into manual mode, at the end of the day, the unit will actually jump back to auto. Auto priority modes of one, two, and three, which could be any combination of voltage, VAR, temp, current, or schedule. With the schedule, you're able to program the days of the week and open and close periods, including holidays or even daylight savings. DNP3, which is not used with the 5400, and then also service where you can manually control the unit. You can also download the data, lock out the unit to not allow the keypad to be functional. We can see the operation tallies for total and daily, test the auxiliary LED and the auxiliary relay, and also reboot the unit. Since we first connected, through the USB, we will now connect through the cap link. As you can see, the same detail you have through the USB is available from short range, 150 feet reliable Wi-Fi connection. Now we've shown both connection methods, we want to show you the last method of performing a function from the panel itself. Open and close. There you have it, the new 5400 is available. Please check out our website for more details. 